hello. You can hear the puppy dogs walking on the um, on the wooden floors there. Um, I am just sorting some stuff and I thought you might be interested in doing it with me as part of a vlog. Uh, I've got some new purchases that I wanted to show you. First of all, hair has been very blown out. Um, I did get a new styling tool. Um, I will show you that, but yeah, I'm still learning how to use it. It's actually a lot different to a wand or my straightener. So I'm gonna show you that and show you some other things that I bought and then I'm gonna do a bit of tidying. So this is what I bought, the silver bullet um, curling iron. And I was just about to throw the packaging in the bin and I thought I would show you. So I picked this up from Adore Beauty. I watched a few videos um, and which suggested that this would be the right tool for me. But it is taking a little bit of getting used to, to be honest. So it's got a tongue on it and um, I will show it to you. I've got the rose gold. Obviously it's called the silver bullet, but I got it in the rose gold. And we've got Sirens A Go Go. So this is it. Um, it's got like a digital display. Oh, I've got it turned off at the PowerPoint. <laughs> It's got a digital display and then you can up the, turn it on Dale, and then you can change the temperature and then you watch it count up as it gets hot. I think the thing that I'm struggling with is getting my hair caught down in the base of the um, tongue part. So from the videos that I've watched, there's a bit of an art to just adjusting the pressure on the tongue, so not keeping it closed the whole time, but adjusting it. With your thumb, uh, it's got this little um, resting thing there as well, which is good. But you can see that it's almost at temperature now. I still feel like I can do better curls with my GHD, but um, stay tuned on this one because, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep practicing. The light keeps changing, so I've had to put the lights on. So, yeah, stay tuned on this one, um, but I will throw that out. Um, because I spent some money at a door they threw in some free samples so i'll come back to those the other thing that i bought was the mermaid kit for brown hair because i needed some new hair thingies um they actually had these little kits um which has a scrunchie it's got a hair claw like a transparent one it's got all these little transparent bands so if you want to do some up styling um which i've been looking at a little bit as well these cool things which I've never had because I never had hair when they came out I mean well I had hair but not enough to put up um, some bobby pins which I always need more of Mr Addiction will not be happy some big hair ties so these non-snag hair ties as well as the little ones and a little comb to smooth your baby hairs away and then this pony tail gel which kind of smooths all your flyaways so all of this was $35 in this little pack which I thought was a great little storage solution as well um, and yeah so anyway I picked that up then I got some free samples um, if you spent so much you put in a code and you got these samples which are all really good ones so this one is called the mystify restyling spray which is a great little travel size this here is a um, bonding enhancer repair treatment. So always need that when you've got color treated hair. So I'm keen to try that one out from NAC. Uh, this chlorine one is similar, but it's a three in one. So you can use it as a sleep in one, as a um, shampoo in treatment, or a leave in conditioner kind of thing. So I'm keen to try that. And then underneath, I got some La roche Prose Vitamin C10 um, Serum. And finally, this Kevin Murphy Freehold Styling Paste. So I quite like the packaging on this one. So you just pop that one open. Let's do this one handed. And then you've got this little styling paste um, all nice and contained in there. So that's a nice one to finish your ends up so you can get some definition on the ends of your hair after you have curled it, which I like and I like that it's in this little travel size as well so it stops you having to take these really big products with you when you want something that does a bit of everything 
my other new purchase at the moment, which I have been loving and you guys have been loving with me, is the Gucci Mini Bamboo Handle Bag. And I took it out today and wore an all green look. As you can see, green nails, green dress. Um, <laughs> so I'm loving that. And also, I got a box of these, which are like little hair separators. I can't, I threw away the packaging before I could show you, but my idea was that I just wanted to be able to pull my hair away from my face, whoops, like that, um, and not get kinks in it when I'm doing my makeup, and so far, so good. So if I can find these, I will link them as well. So there's a pack of four of those. From the Iconic, I also picked up some new hair claws, so I really liked these two. This is like a tortoiseshell um, pattern. Now I've got hair everywhere. <laughs> and um, this kind of goldy, creamy, swirly one. Um, and I've got a couple more that I cannot find, but I have been investing in the hair game a lot, meaning that I've got to clean out this drawer because my drawer is just crazy and the one underneath so there will be a declutter coming soon the other thing that i bought is this belkin three-way charger so it charges the watch the ipod airpod pros and my phone um just you just need a mag safe case to be able to do that so i'm loving how tidy that is because you don't see that when the phone's on it so it's very, very tidy, which is fantastic, and only one cord. And then in here, still selling my Lady Dior. Um, so if you are interested, uh, go and watch the vlog sale video with all of the details on that. This bag has now gone up to 7.6K in Australia, and I've got a guitar strap as well. It's my Gucci box here. And then I've got to still go through, I've just been procrastinating, all of these products that I got from my advent calendars, I have integrated some of them into my bathroom, but I still haven't made that champagne cocktail yet with the, uh, with the fluffle um, fairy floss. So yeah, I've got to go and do a big clean out and start making room for all of this as well. <laughs> so there's a lot of things to sort. Oh, one more thing to show you as well. I picked this up from a pre-loved Facebook site. Uh, it didn't come with any packaging, but it's just beautiful. Uh, I bought this Hermes little trinket tray and you can just see it matches perfectly with my vibe here at home. Um, what's it say? It's called Passiflo Passifolia. Um, by Hermes and it's got some lovely gold around the outside of it and I just thought it was a lovely trinket tray it was a great well I thought it was a reasonable price um, beautifully packaged I actually bought it from the same person that I bought my Chanel denim flap from so I knew that um, it would be in great condition so yeah a lot of recent purchases this bag just looks good everywhere I put it. Like I put it over here, <laughs> I put it there, I can put it here, I could put it in the bathroom. I could just, I just move it around everywhere. This is where I took a picture of it um, for my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, head over. But there's just so many places where it works in my house, <laughs> the pink and green house, crazy. Washing baskets full of rubbish to take downstairs. Alrighty, I have successfully tidied everything. So here I've got some things I wanna try, this restyling spray that I got in the sample pack, which is for second day hair. Spray it on and give it a bit of a zhuzh. I have not tried this. And I always get these samples and I throw them away. <laughs> so I'm going to try it. Um, also, before I go on holidays, I got this in the Peony Pamper, Peony Parcel, Pamper Advent Calendar. It's self-tanning drops that you add in your moisturizer. So I'm going to try that on my legs and just see how that works. This hand cream I like. I have also just opened up this 
lemon superfood balm so it's for dry skin so i'm going to try this on elbows and heels and see how that goes i did throw some things out because they were like blushes and the lip balm and things that are a bit sticky and then in here i've had a bit of a cleanse so i've kept this k18 balm and also this hair treatment this hair treatment by knack as well so all the hair kind of treatment stuff is here and the styling stuff and dry shampoo. This dry shampoo came in the advent calendar as well. Deodorant, um, ultrasonic cleaner, Goya, whatever, stone, all my Louis Vuitton perfume samples. I threw everything else away. Up again, face masks, charcoal, pink clay, and that gold one from Aology, a spare moisturizer from Aspect, my spare foundations, and all these James Cosmetics under eye patches. And then again, wax strips, um, some Chanel gifts, some after sun products, um, and sprays, and spare face wash, micellar waters, oil cleansing balms. So that's all the top half. These are the things that I kind of use pretty frequently um, that don't fit in this little caddy thing. So in here, got some frequently used things like my skin suticals, some um, sunscreens, eye drops. <laughs> um, this Daphne. Paris orange blossom I put in moisturizer sometimes tea tree oil for when you've got spots and yeah and then it's got the cotton buds and cotton tips then into the drawer looking much tidier so pretty much got the things that I use every day in here I have added this from the advent calendar is this kind of highlighter stick which I thought I might want to try and um, some little um, like finishing powders, I suppose. Otherwise, everything in here is what I use all the time. Primarily hourglass, you can tell, and Urban Decay, all my eye palettes over there. Then I have um, just tools and things. So all my tweezers, because I've found all of them, um, and tools here like brushes, eyelash curlers, um, little face shaver things, eye products, so eyeliners, mascaras, um, eyebrow balm, glue for fake lashes, fake lashes. And then here's all lip products. I threw out a lot of lipsticks that I don't use anymore. Hair brushes, scrunchies. I threw out a few that I have never used, so I've just kept the ones that I reach for. All of these new um, claw clips and some combs in here and then all the hair bands and um, bobby pins and things in there and then in here we have the wax pot <laughs> the pepico um, led mask all my nail bits and pieces and this is like a makeup brush cleaning pad some foot masks um yeah so that's pretty much the pedicure station then over this side is kind of like the hair station so i've got my yes i've got the wax pot but i've also got the ghd hair dryer and then all my wands and tools and things here so all stacked on top of each other so it's never big enough but it's better than it was guess who slept with their makeup on last night pre-workout <laughs> And then I'm going to Peloton because that's how I roll. Well, that feels better. It's now about 10.30. I'm a little bit peachy, a little bit rosy. Um, time for a shower and see what's up for the weekend. Nice and showered. I thought I'd do a little get ready with me and talk to you about some bag talk, you know. Um, just doing my typical morning skincare routine. I'm going to try and do my hair with you guys today with my new curling wand and see if that works. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, we'll call it a uh, 
a, a, a learning experience, not a failure. So bags, I am loving my Gucci Bambi bag. As you may be aware, if you follow me on Instagram, it's pretty obvious. Everywhere I look just looks like a beautiful background to photograph that bag in. And I've got to stop myself from taking photos of the bag. My, um, <laughs> my bestie from school, she's not a fan, it's fair to say. She rang me yesterday and she's like, that bag. I can't believe you bought that bag. I thought you would have bought the Tiger bag and um, because it's more pretty. And uh, so she's constantly trolling my... Um, my Instagram feed now for for that bag and uh, and I'm trolling her right back. <laughs> oh dear, so much fun. Got my refill of my Daphne. A lot of you guys were keen to try it. So if you have tried it, please let me know um, in the comments if you're enjoying it because that's a great selfie, isn't it? Um, because I just adore it and it's just, especially opening a fresh pot of moisturizer, how like satisfying is that? Am I the only one or is it, is it super satisfying? Oh my goodness, that feels so good. So good. So anyway, back to bag chat. Um, a couple of bags that are playing on my mind at the moment and I finally sold my Lady Dior. Um, so, Thank you, Raquel. Um, it was meant to be. We had all of these communication issues. Our emails were getting lost. PayPal wouldn't work. Anyway, we got there in the end. And so all that's left from my vlog sale is the Christian Dior guitar strap. So if you are interested in a guitar strap um, that's a lot less than current retail, then hit me up and let me know. But back to bags. So now that I've sold these bags, I feel so liberated to actually buy bags that I love and that are fun. And as you can imagine, there's a few bags that are vying for my attention at the moment. One is the Kusan bag in the orchid color uh, that I tried on in Louis Vuitton when I went back to try on the green Alma. It's beautiful. Like I, I keep looking at the photos and the video that I took of the... Um, the inlaid um, chunky chain, the size of the bag. I don't have a bag in that color anymore. I used to, I used to have a coach bag. It was one of my first bags um, that I really enjoyed um, using. I, that was my daily bag. So it's a color that I know will work for me because it's a cool color. Not cool as in cool, but cooler, like a blue toned <laughs> color. Does that make sense? Sorry if I'm over explaining this to you. Uh, so that's playing on my mind. Um, and that is quite an expensive bag. That is around, I think it's $5,700. So it's slightly more than the Dior. That's why I bought up the Dior because, you know, I've got that money in my hot little hands. Um, and I'd never paid any attention to it before, but I just love how different it is and how versatile because there's so many different ways to wear it as a clutch. I'm just putting my sunscreen on as a clutch as a shoulder carry as a crossbody as a top handle um yeah it's got so many little options i need to buy some more of this it's really good um so that one's playing on my mind uh then we've got the 22p drop from chanel on wednesday my essay has said and um <laughs> I found out why he was ghosting me because he was in isolation, SARS. But honestly, just answer your text and say, can't talk to you, talk to this person. Anyway, maybe that's just me. Um, so, yes, he's confirmed that Wednesday, but I'm not sure if uh, we'll get everything on Wednesday or if we'll only get bits and pieces and it will just be a trickle. So it's always hard to know um, whether we'll get everything, but I, there's nothing in particular that's saying I want to buy it. I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking at that black denim Chanel, but the more I see it on people reviewing the 22P collection and it getting hyped up, 
the more I actually want to move away from it, if that makes sense, the more, the, the less that I want it. So that's a bit odd. Um, I don't know why that is, but I don't know. Maybe it's the rebel in me. Um, so I, I want to have a look at that. I've been talking a lot to Nadia on Instagram because we bonded over Gucci and Fendi. Um, and she had tried on my little Gucci bamboo bag herself and sent me some mod shots. Hello, hello, hello if you're watching this. And uh, we have been shopping Fendi stories, particularly baguettes, because she is getting the purple sequin baguette like quite a few people uh, who've contacted me recently about that. And um, I tried to talk her out of it not um but honestly i will tell you all the cons there are a lot of cons on that bag but you either want the iconic fendi baguette or you don't and uh my answer is normally absolutely um sorry to be so cliche about it but buy it if you're asking to buy it and you want to know about wear and tear anybody like that's that's not the question you're asking. It's, do I want this bag in my life? And if the answer is yes, buy it. Simple. So there's quite a few of you that have bought the bag and reached out to me on Instagram and said, oh, I've got it, we're twinning. And I love that. And, um, you know, it's so nice to have a little piece of uh, a memento of history um, in your closet. So I don't wear mine nearly enough, but I should. Um, I need to go out more. <laughs> so back to the Fendi baguettes. Uh, so I'm looking at the men's drop from Fendi for spring summer and the men's drop is amazing. And there is that um, Lucite like, baguette trunk that I'm just in lilac. <laughs> that I'm loving. Um, there will be, there's a lot of printed baguettes with the Fendi lock, uh, which I think we might, they're in the men's collection, but I'm assuming we're gonna see some of those for the women's collection. Um, there's the Fendachi release, um, and that's not till May. So like, that's a while away. I can do, I can work and I can save um, until May. So I guess I don't have to worry about that. And then there is my, my lusting after my limited petite mal. And um, my essay is so sweet at Louis Vuitton. She is um, she is on the lookout for me for any limited petite mouths that come through, so that I can have a good look at them. Uh, and if I need to, put in an order. So there's lots of exciting bag goss happening. And then there's the things that just pop out and surprise you. iPhone 13s are unforgivable so here is my makeup look I've just got like the purpley colors on my lids brows hair yeesh Oof. don't get too close so I just did a cool a cool if I do say so myself I just did an Instagram live with you guys it's always so fun chatting it was like 45 minutes it went for so long and I wanted to just check in and get some ideas for videos which I did so thank you very much and then I was just looking through my comments on Instagram and I came across this fantastic Instagram page and she commented on my monogram monday post tina 
and she does hand painted Louis Vuitton world tour um, uh, looking sketches I suppose on pieces and uh, so I um, go and have a look at her page to start with I have sent her photos of my Eva clutch and um, I want to get something done to it I think I want to add pink to it because I feel like it needs something and um it's one of those bags it's not going to go anywhere so i might customize it who's this little baby oh hello say hello to the peoples hmm do you need a groom a groom no i'm not saying the other word that you think i'm saying i said groom <laughs> not greeny groom I said it, didn't I? I tricked you. I tricked your little baby, Wena. I tricked your little girl. Do, 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 do. Look at those little TVs. Good morning. It seems you guys like my gardening videos, so I'm just about to go and help Mr. Addiction with the front hedge. Strip the bed. It's a nice, clear day, so hopefully we'll get some sunshine. And yeah, good day to be in the garden. It's Sunday. This vlog's going over multiple days. Um, you said you like this kind of stuff, so I'm going to time lapse it. <laughs> or something in it. The problem with living in the tropics is that everything thrives. Weeds and bugs and weeds and bugs and your plants absolutely. So um, yeah we needed to cut it all back, cut the dead bit out of it, get the weeds out of it and we'll let it regrow. Who's that cutie? Good morning. I realized that I didn't close out the vlog yesterday so this is going to be a bit of a mixed bag of lots of bits and pieces, but I'm about to sit down and film my Q&A. So thanks to those who requested a Q&A in the Instagram live. I'm going to do that. And you can see that my new little baby has uh, made her way onto the display rack. Um, so I'm looking at my recent purchases and thinking, I have done pretty well, haven't I? So I am going to film that first impressions today as well. I'm going to try and get a bunch of videos out today because while I'm away, I'll be able to edit those on the plane and put them up for you. So I'm going to go and make a coffee and then I'm going to film this Q&A. Maybe I might include some footage of me filming myself, filming myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. 